1996, in a small garage in Georgetown, a young man started a new business. He, who had just graduated from college, has seen a business opportunity in a problem he faced while at college. Being an athlete himself, his goal was to create a perfect t-shirt for athletes, one that would keep them cool and dry throughout their workout. But at that time, no one would have ever imagined that his little garage startup would go on to become a global brand, known for its cutting-edge technology and high-quality products under armor. After reaching an all-time high net worth of $22 billion in 2015, Under Armour has become the second largest sportswear supplier in the United States, making its founder, Kevin Plank, one of the wealthiest men in USA. This is his story. Kevin Plank was born in 1972 in Kensington, Maryland. His father was a land developer, while his mother is a former mayor of Kensington. Kevin's love for football started at a young age when he played with the Maplewood Maple Leafs. Kevin graduated from St. John's College High School in 1990 and played for a year with Fork Union Military Academy football team. He later attended the University of Maryland, where he pursued with his passion for football, playing for the university football team, Maryland Terrapins, a big achievement in his career. Meanwhile, he graduated with a BA in Business Administration in 1996. Kevin was a born entrepreneur. He started small businesses while still in college, like Cupid's Valentine, a seasonal business selling roses on Valentine's Day. Cupid's Valentine's was a huge success. On one Valentine's Day, he earned $3,000. It was this success that gave him the confidence to move on to a much bigger venture, Under Armour. But how did it all start? Well. The idea of Under Armour was born out of Kevin's own personal problem. While playing for the college team, he was the sweatiest guy on the soccer field and was in desperate need of clothing that would keep him dry and comfortable. So, he started searching for a synthetic material that would wick away moisture, and after testing seven prototypes, he finally found the perfect match. With a fire in his heart and a pocket full of dreams, Kevin set out to make his vision a reality. He quit his job as a special teams captain for the University of Maryland football team and started Under Armour in a garage at his grandma's house in Georgetown. This was the year 1996. The initial investment of $40,000 came from his savings and a credit card loan. At the start of the company, Kevin had to play a lot of roles. The CEO, the president, the sales manager. Kevin kept a business card for each role to pretend to his customers that it was a big business. His first invention was the Shorty, a soft, skin-tight and stretchy t-shirt that wicked sweat faster, keeping athletes cool, dry and light. His first customers were his teammates at the college football team. He gave free samples to them, asking them to distribute those among other athletes. In order to increase his sales, he hit the road, traveling from college to college, selling his moisture wicking shirts out of the trunk of his car. He knew that if he could just get his shirts on the backs of athletes, they would see the difference. However, under Armour was able to make only $17,000 in its first year of operations. The next year was a challenging year with both highs and lows for Kevin. Under Armour introduced a new product, Cold Gear, which intended to help athletes stay warm and dry during cold weather conditions. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. There were challenges at every turn. 
Retailers scoffed at his products, and money was tight. Running out of finances, he almost became bankrupt. But Kevin refused to be discouraged. The year 1999 was a major turning point for Under Armour. Taking a gamble, Plank decided to invest all the money the company had, $25,000, into an advertisement in ESPN magazine. The employees of the company also supported his decision by agreeing to work without getting paid for a few weeks. Under Armour also sponsored the outfits of actors in Oliver Stone's movie Any Given Sunday. This movie became an instant hit and Kevin's gamble paid off. The new fame resulted in $1 million in direct sales for the following year and Under Armour began to get recognized by athletes and teams. From there onwards, he pushed on, investing in new technologies to improve the performance of his products and expanding his product line to meet the demands of his growing customer base. He poured his heart and soul into the company and with each passing day, Under Armour grew stronger. Years went by and Kevin's little garage startup had become a global brand. Under Armour went public in 2005 and reached $1 billion annual revenue for the first time in 2010. And Plank became a billionaire in 2011. But Kevin's story isn't just about the success of the company. It's about the struggles he went through to get there. It's about the long nights, the hard work, the sacrifices he made, and the relentless pursuit of his dream. He took a simple idea and turned it into a global brand. And that's what makes his story truly inspiring. It's a reminder that no matter how impossible your dream may seem, with hard work and determination, you can make it a reality.